Models are a great way to standardize and streamline a model portfolio or lineup process in the FI360 toolkit. To access the global model area of the toolkit, we can click on the My Models link on the menu bar or click on the pie chart on the main tools menu page. Here we have a list of several models already built into my toolkit account, but we can click on the go button on the right hand side to create a new model. If we choose the 401k lineup, we can actually begin to see that there are two distinct models that we can build in the toolkit. One is a 401k lineup, which we'll talk about in just a second, and then the other is a more traditional portfolio model where you're defining a strategic allocation. Let's talk about the 401k lineup first by building a new one. The 401k lineup is best used in the portfolio generator in the FI360 toolkit. This helps you to standardize and define a the way that a, a 401k lineup may be used in a portfolio generation process. I'm going to quickly select some peer groups or asset classes here. And build my 401k lineup. Again, your lineup may have a few more options, but this is my basic lineup for a 401k. Again, if there's more than one option that's going to be provided in a peer group, we can make that determination in here and then store that in the system. And again, this is great when utilized in the proposal generator when you don't want to define the way that a standard 401k lineup will look like in a proposal generation process. Most of the time, you may be utilizing the portfolio model option, though. So let's create a new model option and talk about the peer group option which is going to look an awful lot like the 401k option as I add over new peer groups. As I begin to add these over we'll see that in addition to simply selecting the peer groups now and changing the number of investments if we need to. We are also defining a strategic allocation for these investments. This is going to be used in several different areas of the toolkit and we'll see that in a future tutorial. We can define the strategic allocation. We can also define the lower and upper rebalancing limits. We can do that manually here on the page but we can use this option down here to automatically set the lower and upper rebalancing limits. I'm going to choose a 5% change between the, the, the lower and upper um, against the strategic allocation. And then I can store this information in the toolkit to be used as a global model. The last option that we have is the investment op the asset allocation optimizer and we can use the optimizer to quickly build a diverse portfolio using the sample deficiency process by choosing my optimizer option I can click on the create button I can quickly go into the asset allocation optimizer and then using the resample deficient frontier I can select a model that has the right risk and return characteristics. Say for example I want one that is about six and a half percent annualized return. The resample deficiency process is going to automatically select the asset classes. I can store that model in the system and then I can also use that model throughout the toolkit now. 